Welcome to episode 47, Crazy Ideas. Please turn on closed captioning to better capture the gist of what I'm saying. You know, after finishing episode 45, Recycling is Important, I considered whether to recycle crazy ideas from past blog episodes, but then decided I, they hadn't run their half-life yet, so I might as well publish some new ones. So, here goes. Number one. A marketing firm that specializes in, in testing people's physical response time to hearing a tune to determine the tune's catchiness or potential monetary value. People eventually react physically to a beat they like by starting to move or shake a body part to the beat. This happens sometimes initially unconsciously before they even focus on actually listening to the beat. So, the scenario. A test participant is given a task, say to write a description of an object or something in front of him or her while nondescript chatter that's playing in the background changed to the playing of a test tune. How soon do, do they react? Number two, a brand of camping equipment marketed based on its glow-in-the-dark features. The whole sales pitch is based on the uniqueness, advantages, and usefulness of the product line based on a glow-in-the-dark ability. Take, for example, the sleeves on the tent. If they were painted with glow-in-the-dark material, it would make it so much easier to set up the tent in limited lighting situations, such as when arriving at a campsite at dusk or at night and your camp light battery is low. The loops for the anchor spikes as well as the zipper outlines of the door and vent of the tent could also have glow-in-the-dark material. Perhaps we already have that with other equipment and tools that have nothing to do with tents or camping, but sometimes are used in low-light situations. But I think most glow-in-the-dark stuff around right now are used for partying and entertainment. Number three, high sensitivity to touch being used as a contactless directional guide. A pulse of air or heat, <laughs> laser beam perhaps, ouch, could be used to physically advise, alert, or cause a highly sensitive person to shy away from or move in a certain direction or positioning. The person could be made to be highly sens sensitive through training or chemicals. <laughs> Number four, talking about crazy ideas and chemicals, where is the company that's selling those prepackaged, easy to set up? single plant marijuana home growing kits. <laughs>